How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays Endeavor, checking out Sato Wonderland, part of the Dreadix Collection 3, which has a cute little looking cat for a mascot or an icon, so we're in for something fun, probably. One of Sato Wonderland's most beloved AI mascots has been acting strangely. Interrogate her to find out what's going on. I know a little bit about mascots, mostly animatronic ones, but we could probably we could probably handle a AI. Can I make this not 4-3, possibly? I cannot make this not 4-3. Okay! So yeah, I guess we're kicking this off here. <laughs> Ishikawa Prefecture, Japan, 2058. Really? Kitsumi? Yes, really. In 30 years, we've never had a problem with her. I know, it's strange. The kid wasn't harmed? Bruised and terrified, obviously, but no lasting physical damage. Shit, this is gonna be a PR nightmare. Do we retire her? Well, obviously, but first get the handler in here. I want to know what happened. This can't happen again. I wish Sato were here. He'd know what to do. Idiot, this is Sato's fault. Maybe this is for the best. This place isn't is on its last legs as it is. Don't say that. Anyway, call the handler. We need to know what went wrong. Sir? I think it was two people talking, but I didn't know what the hell is going on. All right. Computer. And interrogate the subject by dragging and dropping two topic markers onto the slot on the left side of the screen. What just happened? Okay. So, Diagnostics Kitsumi. Kitsuhimi. I think it's, yeah, it's Kitsuhimi. Okay, running initial diagnostics. Initial diagnostic scan. Flooding neural pathways. Oh, it's like looking around the room. Tracing thought right, uh, routines. Reading the pseudonyndrome pseudo-neurotransmitter levels. I don't know why I said pseudonyms. Uh, generating cognitive analysis map. Waking? Kitsuhimi, are you awake? Hello, young man. Welcome to Sato Wonderland. I hope you have a Sato wonderful day. Okay, you can just stop that right now. Are you having a good time so far at Sato Wonderland? Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, there is. You can help me by answering some questions about yesterday. Questions? I love answering questions. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Are you lost? Kitsuhimi can help you find your way. Don't worry. I'll take great care of you. He? Wait. Where am I? Where is this place? You're not lost. Kitsuhime is lost. I'm feeling all sorts of funny. Uh, Kitsuhime lost. This is kind of cool. I like this building thing. Injecting topic markers, Kitsuhime lost. Well, this is a very strange feeling. I don't know where I am and I can't remember the last time I felt that way. I know Saturn Wonderland like the back of my paw. I'm always keeping children, helping children who get lost to find their parents. We make a game out of it. I say, the first one to spot your parents gets a special tasty treat. Of course, I always let them win. If you help me get back to my navigation volume, then I'll know where I am in a jiffy. Sure thing, in a little bit. Uh, kids, he, me, and child. Because we want to know about what happened yesterday. Kid. Okay, lost child. Maybe? Uh, injecting topic markers, child, and lost. Oh, that poor boy, that poor, poor boy. He wasn't where he was supposed to be. I had to get him to safety. I had to take him home to his mommy. Kitsuhimi, that boy was already with his mother. You took him and ran away with him. Why did you do that? No, no, that wasn't his mommy. I was his mommy. He wasn't safe. Why do you think you were his mommy? Of course a mother would recognize her own child. This isn't getting me anywhere. I, need, I might need to run a diagnostic on the child topic marker. Oh, so she thought that the kid was hers? The child was a male of Japanese. The, the child was a male of Japanese origin, approximately 18.2 kilograms and 104 centimeters tall. Estimated at five years of age, the child was with a young woman of Japanese origin. The child was wearing a yellow T-shirt, denim shorts, and a red cap. This unit encountered the child at the gate to Tectropolis at 11:13 a.m. The child and young woman were sitting in the women's or exiting the women's restroom. What caused your reaction to the child? Topic markers child, uh, triggered. Child mother lost. Receiving audio visual memory data. Child and mother. Let's try that. In some way, I feel I am the mother to every child who walks through our front gates, at least for a little while. I love them as if they were my own. My own. My own. My own sweet boy, my Taka chan. What? Child Taka. Taka was a strange child, but a sweet one. He didn't make friends easily at school. It was so hard for me to watch. Uh, Taka mother. Let's see. 
Taka Chan, my sweet boy, is so smart, so creative. He didn't do well in school. His father was furious, but I knew he needed room to grow. When his father passed, they pulled him out of regular schools. He learned at home. We were together so much, just the two of us. I miss those days. Oh. Uh, Taka lost. Let's see. No, oh, no. Please. Please shut me down. Question mark? What do you mean, shut down? No. I want to know more about Taka. Yeah, Taka? Uh -huh. Taka-chan? I don't know of any friends by that name. But you just used the name a moment ago. Who's Taka-chan? Perhaps you're thinking of a guest? Uh, I can't seem to access current park guest logs. That's okay, you're off network. It's normal. But please, what does the name Taka mean to you? I had to get Taka-chan away from the stranger. He belongs with me. He's my baby. Um, shut down mother? No. Um, Kitsuhime and t and mother. No, Kitsuhime and Taka? What do I do? Taka diagnostic. Running diagnostic on topic marker Taka. No A-level topic marker found for Taka. Okay, cool. Diagnostic on mother. I've been programmed to fulfill the mother archetype here at Sada Wonderland. That means my interactions with guests are driven by an order, love, gentleness, empathy, respect for rules, and patience. I've been instructed to pay special attention to the young children among our guests and ensure that they feel safe and cared for at all times. Diagnostic scan has found normal growth of unknown structure around the type marker, corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. What if I do, okay, so what if I do diagnostic on the question marks? Running diagnostic on corrupted topic marker. Anomalous heuristic structure detected. Unable to parse unknown neural structure. Okay, what if I do shutdown? Ta no, okay, what if I do shutdown Kitsuhime? What? Shut me down? You mean retire me forever? Is that what you want? Please, please, yes. It's been so long. Wait, no. Please. Notification. An unknown, unknown third party has infiltrated the system. Um, let's see. Kitsuhime and... Uh, oh, wait, no, no, no. Shut down one shut down Wonderland. Shut down Sato Wonderland? No one would be so silly. Sato Wonderland has been around as long as I've been alive. Where would my friends and I go if the park shut down? What would happen to us? Okay, shut down Taka? No. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this one and Taka. Did I do this one already? No, I did this one already. Yep, I did that. Uh, what if I do mother question marks? Nope. Question marks Kitsuhime? Nope. Question marks shut down? No. This is cool though. Ch uh, child Taka. Taka was a strange... No, uh, no, I knew that one already. Yep. Wonderland Taka. Taka-chan often spoke of his friends. He never wanted them to go away. He could not bear the thought of losing them. I tried to explain, explain that they weren't real. They were just toys. Even when he grew older and understood my meaning, he seemed deeply uncomfortable with the idea of letting go. I think that's where his interest in AI came from, a way to create life that lasted forever. Funny, once he started working on the idea, we hardly ever spoke again. There would be entire weeks where I never saw him leave the workshop. Wait, I thought that he was... Wait. Okay, so Taka is an older person. I was thinking, I was thinking Taka was like five. But it seems like Taka was one of the engineers in the AI. Taka in the workshop. Receiving audio-visual memory data. I've never seen inside his workshop before. Such a diligent worker, my boy. Wait, why am I here? I feel very strange. My head is pounding. Taka-chan, what's going on? Now we'll always be together, mother. Yeah, Sa okay. So Sada, uh, Sado, Sado, um, is, uh, work, uh, let's see. Shut down mother? Our mother together, that's what I meant. So, Sada is Taco, it seems. All the mother wants to be with her children forever. If they can never age, never move away, never change. What a dream that would be. That's not really what part of being a parent is. What a nightmare that would be. Trapped, encased, entombed, Taka-chan. What are you doing? I have a plan so that we always be together. What, are, what do you mean? Where are we? 
This will hurt. I'm sorry. I tried so many methods and all the others to avoid pain, but I failed. Taka? I love you, Bomb. This is what you always wanted. What we always wanted. This is for the best. Taka? There, mother. The pain has passed. Computer initiate trans uh, translation protocol Kyoko Kitsuhimi. Wait, Taka-chan is Seda? Sato? He, he did Taka Sato? Yes, he was a genius. If you got an idea in his head, he couldn't let it go. He had to see it through, no matter the cost. And you're Kyoko Saito? His mother? No, silly, I'm Kitsuhimi. Kyoko? Kyoko? No Kyoko here? I think I have everything I'm going to get from her. It's time to make a choice. Okay, I'm going to retire her. Um, especially because Sato, Sa uh, Sato, how, I'm sorry, I, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but Sato, uh, I, it sounds like Sato has either died or he's no longer around in Sato's Wonderland. So we're going to retire it. Are you sure to wish to retire Kitsuhimi from service? Proceeding will end this diagnostic session. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry about this, Kitsuhimi. Initiating retirement protocol. Error encountered. K-level clearance required. Um, oh, okay. Enter kill phrase Wonderland, Teiko, Mashiko, or Kyoko. It's going to be Kyoko because it's his mom, I would assume. Correct. Retirement authorized. Yeah, we'll finally let her rest. Rather than torturing her by keeping her in an AI. God. Just thinking of, like, the Soma. Yeah. What's happening? What's going on? Sir, he's going crazy. It's, Hosh it's Hoshimaru. He's... No, Takachan, you too? <laughs> Taka, no. Ida Taka, my boy, what have you done to yourself? Leave her alone. You can't have her. Takachan, please. I can't, mother. I won't let him hurt you. You're hurting me. You don't know what you're talking about, mother. Listen to me. Use his real name like you used mine. Please, end this for both of us. You need to get out of here now. Oh! Oh, I'm controlling. Oh, cool. He's a he's a freaking mascot. That's cool. Wow. Okay, well, he's hugging his mom now, so I guess I'm just going to leave now. Oh, no, he's following me. That's fantastic. Oh, great. I went in a giant circle. He is right on me. God, okay. I need to lower my mouse sensitivity. It's too high. I went in a giant circle. Freaking awesome. Right. So if I can get him stuck again, hopefully now that I'm able to control my mouse without it freaking out so much, I can get out of here. So typical. You lack vision and fear what you don't understand. I was not expecting this game to turn first person uh, escape sequences. And it seems like he's gone um, he's gone on a murder spree here. So maybe they should close the park down. I just want to make people happy. What's so wrong with that? Yeah, okay, calm down there, Walt Disney. Oh, and then you put corpses on tables. That's even more messed up. Like you move the bodies around. You did not nobody was laying on the table and then you killed them. You killed someone and you threw them on top of it. I worked so hard to I worked too hard to create this place for us. It does sound like he's still chasing me. And he's also dressed as a mascot, unless he is the mascot. He may have put his AI in it. He may have put his uh, thing. I transfer my mother's consciousness to a robot fox. Do you think there is anything I won't, I won't do, Protector? I'll kill you, all of you. Oh, this place seems nice. This place seems like a wonderful place to just spend the day with the family. Uh-oh. I create this place and I decide when it ends, not you. You have no right. You definitely shot a kill phrase. Uh, Hidetaka. Hmm? 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 But we were meant to be together for eternity. After the Kitsuhimi incident, Sato Wonderland was immediately closed to the public. I don't know why I'm dancing to this. 
this song, I don't know what it is. A third investigation led to the reopening of a dozen cold cases involving missing persons in Ishikawa, Ishikawa Prefecture. While the bodies were never recognized, you assisted the authorities in interrogating the remaining Sato AIs, uncovering their deeply hidden core identities. All remaining AIs in the park were re retired. Some were grateful, some protested. The remaining Sato, or the remaining Wonderland property was sold and eventually redeveloped into luxury apartments. Oh, okay, I guess that's a thing. Cool. But we did it! Nice. Okay, so that was the end of Sato Wonderland. That was pretty cool. So, what about you? Oh, hey. How'd you get here? Well, I worked in a lab studying what we thought was an alien mine virus. You can understand our confusion given the alien spacecraft wreckage in the sky. Then I got infected with it, tried to cure it, and for some reason didn't go through all those nasty mutations the rest of the infected go through. And now I'm here. Well, yeah, I was here for all of that stuff. Who do you think set up that experiment in the house for you? Someone without reality warping powers? You know, I was wondering how someone with my voice knew when I was done with each tape. Me. That's what tipped you off that something wasn't right. Not the severed limbs everywhere. <laughs> oh, God, no. There's severed limbs everywhere now. Comes with the apocalypse. Okay, but before all that... How did you join in the first place? Uh, it's a long story. Um, well, Mama was a country girl with big city dreams. And Dad was the disenfranchised son of the local Hierophant. They fell in with a group of secular synthic users and got the heck out of Dodge. Had me Grew up in a van, traveling the continents. Did the rebellious thing when I was 15, which for a traveler means going to school and getting an establishment job. I wasn't any good at math or writing, but something about mindscape mapping just clicked. I'm not really smart. It's just the path of least resistance. Followed that right into a job at the Department of Extraterrestrial Concerns. <laughs> so you also didn't really have a choice then? You just kind of lived and fell into things? No, I wanted this. The DXC was a pretty obscure department when I joined. I really only thought I'd be designing brain games to keep long haul astronauts safe. But still, it's important. I know what it's like to be trapped in a box hurtling across vast expanses with no way to escape. Then, when this time, I could just leave. If my work could have helped people before, now it could save the whole world. I just wish the experiments weren't so uh, gruesome. Was the pay at least nice? <laughs> oh yeah, clandestine employment bonuses are fantastic. By the way, did you really need to ask me this? Couldn't you have just, I don't know, scanned my brain? Yeah, but I like it better this way. Aww. Okay, so that was Sado Wonderland, and we also learned some more stuff. Mostly that uh, our character we're playing here, Leo, is the same character we played in the house of Dreadx 2. Uh, I thought that Leo was the one doing the experiments, but it seems like Leo was the one doing the tapes, and then Prometheus dressed as, or not dressed, but uh, using Leo's voice controlled everything like that. But okay, that's fine, I guess. This is a little weird, but... We'll uh, check out another game in the next episode. Let me know what you thought about Saddle Wonderland in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. Also, something I noticed about this is uh, this ghost here. He's like that. And then if you turn around and you spin back, he, he looks at you. Ah, spooky. <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe so you get updates for release new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters listed down below. Philip A. Chapman, Megaco, and Monica Bean. Thank you for the ongoing support. And if you want to see your name down here, be sure to check the links in the description below to my Patreon, as well as my Twitter and Discord. Have a great day. Remember to burn bright.